Hey, oh, welcome back to Having a Blast, where this time we're going to be playing Galactic Attack slash layer section on the Nintendo Switch and comparing it against the daddy of them all, the original, on the Sega Saturn. And just to check if there's any difference between the two games, because we know this game is emulated just like the Cotton 2 game was, and everybody knows how that turned out. There was just so many people complaining about input lag um, that if you played the original game, it will ruin it for you. So we'll have a go on the Switch version. Here we'll play layer section as I'm going to be putting the satin version of layer section in as well. This was followed up on the same system by layer section 2, which isn't a bad conversion of the game, but it does suffer from quite a bit of slowdown. I did play this originally in the UK on the PlayStation as Raystorm, so if you do want to check that out for a bit of a better price, I've not looked for ages, I don't know how much Raystorm is on a PlayStation, but it may be cheaper than that, I'm not sure. So let's just uh, jump into the game with the correct controller. Leave that satin pad to one side for a second. There we go. Loading. So to the options. Normal stereo, rapid fire on. Yes, let's go. So Galactic Attack is a 2D shmup. And the 90s was just full of 2D shmups. The usual affair here. You press A to shoot. B is your lock-on bomb. But the more interesting thing is with the lock-on bombs, you don't actually hold the B button. You highlight the enemies. Press B to shoot it off and pop there go. Nice and simple. A little Panzer Dragoonish, if you ask me, which is not a bad thing. I do like the lock-on system, it makes the game a lot of fun to play. But this game is absolutely <laughs> flipping rock solid. I'm not fantastic at shmups. I did play this one a lot when I was younger. It is a beautiful game. And to be fair, the Switch version I'm playing so far feels great. It feels just like playing the original. Um, doesn't feel like there's that much lag on the controls, to be perfectly honest. And, uh, I mean, I'm dodging the bullets fairly well, but there isn't too many of those on screen yet. So the time will tell. So we'll do a couple of levels on the Nintendo Switch version, and then we'll flick between this and Saturn, just to see what the differences are. But the only difference I've noticed so far with the Switch version is it has pictures on the borders. But bear in mind, I haven't played Lay Section on Saturn for a very long time. So it may be... There may be some input lag on this, but at the moment, it just feels like a regular old shooter to me. Could be very wrong. Scrolls nice, there's no slowdown, it looks lovely. And I'm dying frantically. These guys with the gun are doing that, man. I'll wipe them out before they take you. I do love this game so much stuff going off in the background all the place all the different 2d layers just shifting around there's a lot going off on the screen at once with this and it does really do look nice welcome to boss number one if you don't take his arms out he kills you really quick just uh, get this done oh when he misses a rogue bullet and just just strays straight into it Go, dodge, dodge, dodge. <laughs> the only thing that annoys me about this game is you go at the bottom of the screen and the heads up display gets in the way of the ship. You know what I mean? You can't see <laughs> what's going to hit you down the bottom. Minor complaint. Three, there we go. Boss one is down. Nice. It's not a bad game. My only gripe with this so far is the just sheer amount of money it costs on the Switch store. Um, Come on, guys, man, this should be like 10, 15 quid. It, it, the game's 20-odd pounds, man. Um, but because I'm a die-odd fan of the Saturn original and a bit of a Sega freak, I thought, I'll buy this to save wear and tear on the disc, uh, on the original disc, and it seems to play relatively fine. So we'll just get another level down, and then we'll check it against the original. But at the moment, I seem to be dodging stuff in my usual fashion. I don't say I'm doing it very well. I usually cut it fine and get killed a lot. Uh, but this game takes a lot of learning, and I have not played it for a long time, so, yeah, you know, that's how it goes. Not doing too badly. And to be fair, if you look at the bottom of the screen, look at this, 98 continues. What's going off there? 98 continues. It, they're giving you that for a reason, mate. Um, if you're not very good at shooters, this game is just going to kick your ass. Honestly, like most of them do. But yeah, I really do enjoy this, so it's just... Uh, 
dispense with the waffle for a moment and kill some stuff. Lovely sweet. Oh, look at that! Crafty from the side, so we're down to the lava world now. Um, all the planes are running away. Thank you very much. The guy's back. Take me. Oh, no, it's two more. Oh, there's three more. Ah! Oh, so what's that now? We've lost a couple of credits. Stage two. Okay, mate, let's kill this thing. Sorry guys, concentrating like mad there, just <laughs> not trying to die. What a beautiful game this was, and still is. I mean, what's this, 1995? Oh man. Great. There we go, I think we taught him a lesson. Off you go, mate. Boss number two. Here we go. So that's the guy that's just destroyed those, I would assume. Some interdimensional chip thing. Warps in to kick your butt. Oh, straight away. I thought I'd dodge that. Never mind. We're now playing this for uh, how good are we? We're playing it to see what it's like on both. But so far, quite impressed um, for an emulator running on the Nintendo Switch for Saturn. Because the Saturn's a very difficult machine to emulate. You do tend to need a, a beefier computer than you would for most other platforms. Just because of how Sega sort of cobbled the hardware together at the time. It means it's difficult to emulate. Like um, the PlayStation 3 was difficult to emulate. It's, it's very well done on such limited hardware. Don't get me wrong. It seems to play just like the original. But after we've killed this guy, we'll find out, won't we? Come on, mate. There we go. Boss number two. So we'll leave him plummeting into the atmosphere of that planet for a moment briefly. While I get off my arse, I'm going to switch this out now. We've got to unplug you. Unplug in you. And switch on you. So here we are with the Saturn version LA section. I've loaded uh, it up just to save you the pain we put the disc in, etc. So let's jump straight into the Saturn version of the game. You can tell it's not the one I was playing a moment ago. And wow, instantly is the input lag noticeable on the Switch version. Shit, the bed. Okay, this is a lot more responsive straight away. And I am using a D-pad just like I was on the Pro Controller. I didn't use the analog on the switch because it makes it very difficult to compare it to a game that plays on the digital form so yeah i mean if you've not played layer section before then you'll be pretty happy with it because you won't notice this but the input lag is present just as it was in the cotton reboot not the cotton reboot sorry the cotton satin tribute um but i didn't play that so i don't know if it's as bad but straight away between playing this on my switch I'm running it through my satin there's a big difference noticeable difference in response time when you press the d-pad um, so the best way to play this game is still on the original hardware but it's a good enough emulation on the switch considering the limited hardware of the switch it's a very very difficult system to emulate because of its ridiculously over complex architecture at the time so it comes off really well I have problems running stuff um, from the original Saturn disc in my PC using RetroArch. It's not spot on with everything. But this uh, original Saturn version is just, yeah, it, it difference is night and day playing these two games. It honestly is. Straight away, I'm, I'm, I'm moving around much more responsibly with the ship than I could in the Switch version. 
which is a shame really because the game commands such a high price for what it is. Um, and for any more Saturn titles that are going to be using this emulator in the future on the Switch, I am a little bit weary of picking them up because they're not going to play spot on to how they originally played. Like I said, if you'd not played them before, not an issue, but I've, I played the Saturn a lot. I really do like the machine, and when, when they do release a game on another format and I play it, it's, it's not the same. It, it's emulated, and it just doesn't feel the same, which is a massive shame. But if you're not bothered about this, jump in and play it. It's an absolutely flipping awesome shoot em up. So we're just going to dispatch this guy after our quick comp here. And... Uh, that will be the, the second level. Oh no, this is, this is the first level guy, isn't it? No, we need to get the second level out of the way first. So let's get this geezer down. <laughs> if he didn't start edging left then, I would have been screwed. There we go. Level one is over, my friends. Onwards to level two. But absolutely fantastic Taito shmup. Um, if you own it on the Saturn, don't bother with the Switch version, is my recommendation. But if you don't own the Saturn version, you don't own the Saturn, get it on the Nintendo Switch, because it is a really good shoot em up You're not going to notice the input lag if you never played the original. Um, you're just going to think that's how it is. It's not the greatest way to look at this game, but to be fair, through rose tinted goggles, mate, the original hardware, better. Every, every step of the way, Saturn version is better. And it might be a bit fanboyish. In fact, it's very fanboyish, but you know what it's like when it comes to emulation. Emulation is never 100% spot on. I am really, really impressed with what they've managed to pull out of the Nintendo Switch's hardware in terms of emulation. But if you do want to play it as intended, you either play it in the arcade or you play it on the original, the, um, original hardware, unfortunately. But yeah, awesome game. Absolutely awesome game, ladies and gents. So we'll get this second boss down. I'll dispense with my waffling, because I don't think this is a video that's going to go up. I think it's just more me practicing shit. So uh, let's kill these guys. Look at the lovely 2D transition there. Faking 3D, spinning around. That's absolutely great. The, uh, the tricks they used to come up with back in the day to make two-dimensional stuff have more depth is very good. Take these guys out, and then the blokes with the guns turn up again, don't they? I remember that is the first one. Let's get him out of the way quick and get the power ups this time. Get the second guy out of the way. Try and get the third. And then you've got these. Oh, mate, I thought I could do it. There was those three, and they told me out. We did well, we tried our best. Yeah, this time, mate, we're going to make a mess of you. To make a flipping mess of this ship this time. There we go. Guns off the back. Dodge those planes, man. Dodge those planes. Watch out for everything else. Yes, we got him this time. See you later, big guy. Beautiful. Nice meaty explosion to finish him off. Back up into orbit. And it's all chaos. Everything is just going mad. And everybody's getting blown up, so we'll cheer them as well. Okay, Mr. Second Boss, we'll fight you a second time. We will have a bit more luck this time, because when we lost life of this credit, you never know. Making a mess of him. Get those guns off the back, man, because they sort you out big time. Ah, it's got him! See you later, mate. I don't think so. Hey, with a little bit more practice, I might be uh, half decent at this one. You should have seen me when I put it on an hour ago. Flipping eight. I had to play it for <laughs> I had to play it for an hour before I came on this. I got the first stage. There we go. Boss number two plummets into the atmosphere on the Sega Saturn. And the difference between these two versions visually isn't different. Well, the Saturn one 
he's a little faster, um, if you ask me, but much more responsive in terms of controls. And that's not me speaking from a, a fanboy perspective. This is me speaking from a fanboy perspective. Oh my god, it's the best one on the Saturn! Did you get it on that? Nothing else, yeah? Honest! That's me being a fanboy, but I'm not. I digress. This is a good game on the Switch, as I've been saying the uh, a whole time through. Now we've died on the Saturn, we'll flip back to that just to prove this. Bye, Saturn, switch me off. So here we are back with the Switch version, exactly where we left off on the second boss. And yeah, it's, it's there, guys. It is a little bit laggy. There's at least a few frames in there. Uh, it just feels a little bit off compared to the Sega Saturn version, which, when you compare them side by side, is easy to spot. But if you've not played this game for donkeys, you'll be fine. You'll just get used to how this plays and you'll enjoy it in this format. Never having to worry about playing the other one and that's not a bad thing you're still playing this game just not in its original way it still plays well it's still a good game i'm still getting my ass kicked by all these bosses but it's just the expensive price of this you just not command over 20 quid for this set because to be perfectly honest the difference between layer section and galactic attack in the compilation uh, as far as i can tell goes as deep as the name of the game and some of the text being in english and that's about it. It plays exactly the same uh, as the layer section game does on here. The enemies are the same. It's just as difficult. I genuinely couldn't see a difference. So, including the English and Japanese versions of this on the package. Unless anybody else knows of the differences, please let me know in the comments if there are differences between this game. I would love to know. But I am not noticing any differences regionally between Galactic Attack and, uh, and layer section other than, the, other than the title of the game. That, that is the only difference I can uh, notice. A phenomenal game nonetheless, just a little expensive on the Switch. The emulation, while it's not spot on, is getting there. So it's a nice enough game to play um, if you don't own the original. So we'll see how far we can get on this last life, guys. And then I get a call it an evening. We're going to have enough continue with that, actually. That was, uh, that was an unscripted extra continue for you, ladies and gentlemen. Like this entire unscripted video has been. And just waffling shit while I'm still playing the game. But I enjoy doing it and I just want to see if you guys do. If you don't, I'll do something different. But yes, layer section. Great 2D shmup. Play some more 2D shmups. The difficult as hell. So good. So, so good. Let's get our ass kicked by the third boss. This guy is a nightmare. Ah, oh, see? Straight away. What am I doing? Ooh, them crafty lasers, mate. Just keep wailing on this bit of the dice. Don't worry, we've got 96 continues left. We can do it! We can do it! Well, sorry for the input lag. Here's an extra 96 continues. You should be able to complete the game now. Lay section. Oh, mate. To be honest, seeing 95 credits at the bottom of the screen, I'm really not putting any effort into playing this whatsoever because you know you can just go for a few hundred lives now and you'll get to the end of the game but um yeah if you limit yourself to a certain amount of credits make it tougher for yourself or we'll just try it in one see what score you can get 99 continues is a little bit excessive but here we are on the fourth stage we'll have a bit of a bit on a bit of a blitz on the fourth stage on the switch game lock on mechanic <laughs> to me becomes less significant as the game progresses because it's less about locking on to loads and launching them off the score and it's more about just wailing on the enemies so they don't kill you. This guy, oh no, there's a couple of those flying dudes with guns. Tank. Sort you out, my friend. He's been flying buggers. Ah! <laughs> Come on, come on! We can do it. We definitely can. Whoa! The bullets everywhere! So yeah, if you like what I'm doing this, please leave a comment and, uh, and a like. If you don't, don't like it. Um, but please do comment, 
subscribe, share, etc. Because it, it, it helps me a lot on YouTube. It helps the platform recognise me a lot more. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm trying to concentrate while I'm saying this. Please like, please subscribe, please share. This is Not Gamers channel where I do loads of silly shit. I modify consoles, I play games, I mess about. Please tune in. I love you all. Thank you so much. I'm out of continues. Am I? No. I've got 94 left. I'm out of time. Bye!